All right, with the Hebrew Israelites coming week in and week out, the prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, America, which we know as Babylon and Great. I tell you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you are the true children of Israel, the children of the Heavenly Father, man. It's time for you to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Okay? To you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You the true Israelites. Okay? But before we get into this lesson, we're going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, and Prophet Da. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring this word in true love and sincerity. Shalom to the whole for you let. I said, we're going to start off in the book of Zephaniah 2, verse 1. It says, Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Before the decree bring forth, before the day passes the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So right now, what? Y'all supposed to be coming back to the Lord, man. Y'all supposed to be repenting. And y'all supposed to be gathering back to the spirit and power of y'all by smell shot. But what's going to be doing the gathering? The word, man. The word is supposed to gather you. Okay? Give me that blue 137. Right? We ain't got to do nothing else to gather because the elect is going to be gathered by the word. But give me John uh, 10 and 23. The book of Baruch. Chapter 4, verse 37. Uh -huh. Lo, thy son come, who thou sendest away. Uh -huh. They come gathered from the east to the west. Right, so Israelites are going to come from all over. They're going to be coming from the east and from the west. Because if you know anything, that what with the curses, we got, we've been scattered through the four corners of the earth. Go ahead. By the word of the Holy One. By the what? By the word of the Holy One. By the word of the Holy One. So that's how we're going to be gathered back to the Lord. By the word of the Holy One. Go ahead. Right. Rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. And we are rejoicing in the glory of the Most High, man. Hey, we are, we almost, we at the end, man. So we rejoicing, man. America about to be destroyed. So, hey, the men of the Lord, we rejoicing this place about to be destroyed, man. We ain't got to see you goddamn homosexuals and lesbians walking around here rampant, right? We got to be polluted by this damn air, drinking this polluted ass water every day, man. Eating this GMO food, right? So we rejoicing that we about to get the hell up out of here, man. We about to, we hopefully we are the hopeful elect that we may be saved out of here, man. Cause this place gonna be destroyed. Man. And all you Israelites who don't turn to the Lord, you're gonna die a horrible death in here in the A horrible death. Group five and five. The book of Baruch, chapter five, verse five. Yeah, John 10, arise, O Jerusalem. Arise, O Arise, O Jerusalem, man. Jerusalem is a people before a place. Jerusalem is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're not African American. You're not Negro. You ain't Hispanics. You ain't Latinos. You're not Native Americans. You Israelites, man. Go ahead. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, uh -huh. and look about toward the east. Yep. And behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east uh -huh. by the word of the Holy One. By the word of the Holy One. So we know the elect are going to be gathered by the word of the Holy Ones. Because those are the only ones that are going to return back into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The rest of our people is one and done. <laughs> Go ahead. Rejoicing in the, the remembrance of the Most High. We're rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. The Most High, we're remembering the ways that He gave upon us. And we're remembering the law, statutes, and commandments, man. He gave us, He made us be wise in the sight of these demons. Right. Okay. Right, because you so-called black, Latino, and Native Americans were a royal people. You still are a royal people, but you have fallen from grace, man. Right now, you are on the lowest of the low part of the totem pole. Yeah, you the right. part of the totem pole that's stuck in the mud, man. Mm -hmm. Which is why we read that scripture earlier. You are a nation not desired. <laughs> no matter where you are, you are pushed into the ghetto and marginalized mm -hmm. because they do not like you. Yeah, they, okay? It's been, it been systematically set up that way, man. Because these other nations, even the elite of the red Hebrew Edomites was the so-called white man. He know y'all the Israelites, man. He know y'all the children of the Most High, man. So that's why y'all been put down so badly, man. That's why he has hidden your true identity for centuries, man. They know who you are, but you don't know who you are, man. Everyone say, well, we're the child of the Lord. You ain't can't be no child of the Lord if you ain't on this side, man. You can't fit into this. You can't convert to be an Israelite. You're an Israelite by blood regardless whether you accept it or not. The Lord is not coming back to deliver no Negroes. He's not coming back to deliver no Mexicans, no Hispanics. He's delivering Israelites only, man, and the elect of Israel. The rest of our people going to die, man. Here in America, Babylon are great, whether you receive it or not. It doesn't matter. 
John 10 and 28. This is John 10 and 28. Uh huh. My sheep hear my voice. The Lord says, My sheep hear my voice. You people don't hear the voice of the Lord, man. That's why you still stuff a pork in your mouth. That's why y'all still committing adultery. That's why y'all faggots. That's why y'all doing all abominations and wickedness to the earth. But then y'all say y'all love the Lord. Y'all full of shit, man. That's why the Lord called y'all nothing but hypocrites, man. You church people, y'all ain't nothing but hypocrites, man. Go ahead. I know them and they follow me. He said, I know them and they follow me. We follow the ways of Yahweh Shai. Y'all Negroes here, y'all follow Jesus, man. Especially you Latinos, man. Y'all follow Jesus, man. The white dude, man. And with that whole image comes an ideology, comes a philosophy, man. Love. Do whatever the hell you want. The Lord ain't with that, man. The true, the true son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, he not with that. Okay? That's why he's coming back to kill people. And a lot of them people is going to die. It's two-thirds of our nation. Give me uh, Zechariah 13 and 9. Go ahead, read that again. <laughs> my sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice and what? And I know them. Uh-huh. And they follow me. Yep, go ahead. And I give unto them eternal life. You give unto them eternal life. And what else? And they shall never perish. And they shall never perish. Right. Because Yahweh Shah is going to protect his elect, his, his sheep on this side, man. The rest of our people got no covering cash, man. That's why you're going to die in this new, this thermonuclear war, which is World War III. What's going to come, right? That's why the Lord's going to allow y'all to get checked with the mark of the beast, right? That's why the Lord's going to allow y'all to die in the famine or the pestilence that's going to come upon this place because it's coming, man. All these uproars and, and things you see in these other countries, it's coming to America. Right. And if you ain't covered by the blood of Yahweh Shah, you through, man. Right. And like that scripture said, it said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Like the brother was saying, that image of, of so-called white Jesus, but that ain't his real name. He's not a white boy, he's not a white man that he's like. Yeah. He, he never ate abomination. Right. He didn't break the commandments, right? So you ain't his sheep if you're doing things contrary to what he did. That's right. This right. image comes with a whole other vibration of breaking the commandments. Eat abomination. Yep. Do all manners of wickedness. Yep. The true Messiah didn't do, didn't do that at all. So if you're doing contrary, you ain't his sheep, man. Because right. you're not following him. Right. Hey, I got something back here. Yeah. I got the book of Luke 6, verse 46. It says, Why ye call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? You see? Because all the people say, Oh, Lord, Lord, we love the Lord. Oh, Jesus, this, Jesus, that. But you don't do what the Lord say, man. It's what y'all ain't nothing but him or Christian, man. You got to go with another one before you grab that, bro. Right? Matthew 15. Right? Verse 7 it says, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draws nigh to me with their mouth and honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You see? But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Hey, like, 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 hey, that speaks for itself. But just to expound on it, he said Isaiah spoke well of these people. Why? Because everybody in their mama, even these heathens, but especially you black, Latinos and Native Americans, you always calling on uh, Jesus. Oh, oh Lord, oh my God, help me. Yes. But really, you don't do nothing that he commands you to do. You don't take heed to his word, to his warning. You see? You worship in him in vain, man. Because you don't do what he says to do. Yeah, hold that. Read that, uh, yeah, Zachariah. The book of Zechariah, 13 and 9. Uh-huh. Actually, in eight. Yeah, yeah. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two parts of the, of the, of the path chart, two thirds of our people got to die, man. Go ahead. But the third shall be left therein. The third is going to be left, and what else? And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Yep. They shall call on my name. And I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Yeah, and that's on the elect, man. That one third is only the part of the elect. But two thirds of our people, they are rebellious, man. So they got to die. Man. And y'all be reborn again in the kingdom, man, through the loins of the men of the Lord, man. By the house of David, 144,000, man. We got it. You yeah, and I was just going to say, this, uh, like the brothers bring it out, like the scriptures say, there's going to be mass death on two-thirds of you so-called black, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
You are God's people. Only the repentance is for you. The Messiah died for you. If you don't accept that, you will perish with this wicked society. Yeah, we're going to get that. Give me Proverbs 1. Read that. This is Luke chapter 11, verse 23. Uh huh. He that is not with me is against me. Right, so if you're not with Yahweh Shah, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you're against them, man. There's either two sides of the fence. You're either with the Lord or you're not. The Lord don't play the, the Lord don't play in the middle, man. We're not hearing that. Go ahead, man. Go read. And he that gathers not with me scatters. And he that gathers not with me scatters. Y'all ain't trying to gather with Yahweh Shah, man. That's why you people got to die. Do Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1 and what? Oh, uh, start at 1 and 20. Our people don't want to gather with Yahweh. Book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom cries without. Yep. She uttereth her voice in the street. Uh -huh. She crieth in the deep place of concourse, uh -huh. in the openings of the gate. Right, that's why you see brothers to the four corners of the earth, right? In the openings of the cities, man. We in the marketplace, okay? We are crying out, calling out to our people to return to the Lord, man. Because we know what's about to come upon this place. Go ahead. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, uh -huh. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? So the Lord says, How long, ye simple ones, you going to love simplicity, man? How long are you Negroes going to trust in America, Babylon, and Great? How long do you think that this money, is going, this money and this whole system is going to be backed up and you think you're going to be able to be here and prosper forever, right? How long? Nobody's prospering. And they're scorning. And they're delight and they're scorning. Prime example is the Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite women, woman in the background, man. And fools take knowledge. And fools take knowledge. So the Lord called y'all fools, man. If you think that a your college degree is going to save you, you're a damn fool. If you think money is going to save you, you're a damn fool. If you think white Jesus is going to save you, you're a damn fool. Go ahead. Turn you at my reproof. Uh -huh. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Yes, yeah, so the Lord said return at his correction, man. That's reproof. And our people hate reproof, man. They hate to be corrected. That's why they in the position they in, because they hate to get corrected, man. Right. Say, once again, turn you at my reproof. Uh -huh. When you get reproved by somebody, yeah. you get corrected. Uh -huh. The problem with our people, why they in the condition they in, is because they hard-headed, man. They don't like to listen. When they get corrected, they start thinking about what they know. And you dead wrong, man. The Most High is going to show you truly that his thoughts are not your thoughts. Right. And he's going to show you by death, by pain. Right. All right? right. You niggas in the background talking stuff, man. You don't know the Most High. The Most High is going to kill you. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, cause look, at the end of the day, the truth is supposed to be like this, man. Two thirds of our people even reject. They re even a lot. Most of our people rejected the truth when we was in the land, man. Yeah. Okay. So it's supposed to be like that. People think that when the truth come out, it's like, okay, well, they got the truth. Everybody's supposed to listen. They didn't listen to the prophets back then. They didn't even listen to the Lord when he was on the scene. So we're not supposed to be listening to, man. We don't care. That's why we read, my seat shall hear my voice. So regardless, however manner we speaking of, whether you people think it's uh, uh, harsh, uh, yeah, harsh or whatnot, right? Hey, the sheep is going... Uh, look right over that and be like, hey, they speaking the truth, man. Yep. This, what they saying makes sense. Yeah. Go ahead. You think they would have killed the Messiah if he was all sweet and timid right. and nice to everybody, hugging everybody? No, man. Right. Are they got, where are you guys from? From the most high, man. You sit down here to do what do is real. Yeah, 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 bro. Are you from the yeah, Are you from some church or organization? No, no this, 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 this is church. Yeah, this is the church of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. That's the church of the Messiah, man. That's it. You don't have a deal with the church. You come out here, the whole church, right? This is the church. And we could, uh... <laughs> uh, we're trying to get the account with uh, Stephen. Right? Here we go. Alright, because even Stephen the prophet, when he was speaking, hey, our people got so cut that they stoned me, man. You know? All right, let me get this real quick. The book of Acts 7, uh, verse 51. I'll start there because uh, Stephen was going over the account of the basically the history of Israel. You know, just the tide in a nutshell. So at 51, it says, Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in the heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did so do ye. And this is even speaking to our people now, man. Our people resist the Holy Spirit, man. They don't want to be taught knowledge, man. 
says, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which go before of the coming of the just ones, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law, rather than with this position of anger, right? And have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, bring, he being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of the Most High. And Yahweh Shai, standing on the right hand of the Most High, and said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of the Most High. Then they cried out, then they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet whose name was Saul you see? so hey Saul was uh Stephen was cutting him so bad was what that Israel ran upon him and stoned him and they actually they cast him out of the city first right it's more than likely they probably dragged him and then they stoned him for what speaking the truth man for, for speaking the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh okay because when we come out here to teach this is not a light thing, man. That's why a lot of you camps don't want to come out here. Because y'all don't want to deal with the element, right? But then y'all don't want to deal with the people, man. Because guess what? The people's reaction to the truth is what? They're going to uh, they're going to react to it with it because it doesn't sit well with their spirit because they're wicked. And we speak their righteousness. Okay? So what is it doing? It's stirring up their spirit, man. Okay? That's what the word is doing. The word is stirring up their spirit because a lot of these people be talking shit be cut, man. They be cut. You got to preach that? Yeah. Go this ahead. Is, uh, this is Psalms 120. Read that loud, brother. This come, is Psalms come, 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 120 and 7. Uh huh. I am for peace. Yes, right. But when I speak, they are for war. That's how we come out. We are for peace, man. We are about peace. But when we speak, they are for war, man. Because what? We know we're in a spiritual warfare, man. Okay? We know these things. Read that again, brother. Psalms 120 and 7. Uh -huh. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Uh -huh. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Go on. Go precept, just, brother. Uh, another precept back up what we were just going into. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful uh -huh. and sharper than any two-edged sword. That's right. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit yeah. and of the joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thought and intent of the heart. Yes. Why? Because like the, when the brother said, they stir, they spirit gets stirred up when we speak in these words. Let me see they true intent, man. We need to be wicked in most cases, man. All right? It comes out, man. It's like you right in half spiritually, and then you start spewing out your, your wickedness, man. That's right. That's right. You know? Because y'all be cut, man. Y'all be cut. Y'all spirit be cut, man. Because we, uh, the truth is the truth it's stirring up your wickedness in your spirit, man. That's what it's truly doing, man. You, the things that we're saying, because we're not even directly speaking to you, per se, but what we're saying <clears throat> to the spirit is directly speaking to you, you know? You know, so even though we ain't calling you out like, hey, da -da, you doing this, hey, your spirit's like, shit, how you know I'm doing that? How you know this is me? You know? That's the spirit, go ahead, bring that out, brother. This is this is Jeremiah chapter five verse fourteen. Uh -huh. Wherefore thus saith Yahweh, the power of hope, speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, uh -huh. and this people would. Right. So the Lord made the words, uh, put the wor words in our mouth fire, man, and He made the people what wood. What does fire do to wood? It completely burns it, man. Okay. Go ahead. And this people would, uh, right. and it shall devour them. Mm -hmm. Lo, I bring a nation upon you from afar, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. Yeah. So that's the point on that, you know. Oh, Brother, yeah. just backing up how uh, powerful the word is, man. Okay, quick and powerful to the point where what? Uh, the, the, uh, the mouth, the things that we're speaking is fire, and you people are the wood, man. That's why y'all be hurt, man. Y'all be hurt. Y'all don't be having nothing to say. Y'all can't back up what y'all say with scriptures. Nothing, man. Okay, all you can do is say your mumbo jumbo. But that's it. You can't come up here and, and deal with us, right? You can't come deal. So you got to talk this stuff in the background, man. At the end of the day, you repent or you die, man. 
I don't know how y'all, there ain't no other way to put it, man. We ain't never playing games.